I just forgot about I completely forgot about that. and now we have other sounds. So no this is impossible to film. Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and actually I have no idea what I'm doing here on YouTube, but today we will be unboxing Jeffree Star Halloween Mystery Box. This is the smallest box or they call it premium box and it should contain six items. On the other side they had two more sizes, deluxe is medium box and supreme is large mystery box. Deluxe should contain 10 items and um, supreme one should contain 15 items and medium and large boxes they must have contained clothes. How do you know? Before choosing your box you should pick your size. So I decided to go with the smallest one because I thought do I need Jeffree Star clothes? No, not really. Am I interested in his makeup? Mm, yeah, a little bit more than in his clothes. So I decided to go with the smallest one. In one of his videos, when Jeffree Star announced uh, those uh, mystery boxes, he told us that it should contain an eyeshadow palette. So I hope it will be here. What would I like to receive? His a lipstick would be cool, eyeshadow palette for sure, maybe highlighter, I've heard a lot of good feedbacks about his highlighters, and maybe some, you know, I know that in his boxes we pretty often find lip scraps, I'm not sure if I want it, but it would be nice to try. So my box costed 65 American dollars or 95 New Zealand dollars, 90 Australian dollars, 49 pounds or 58 euros and let me tell you uh, that two other boxes costed um, 140 dollars is deluxe one or medium size and supreme size or large box costed 200 uh, American dollars I'm not sure what the total value of the box should be but let me tell you that I paid for the delivery and the delivery costed for me 27 American dollars so uh, as a result I paid for my box 134 New Zealand dollars 128 Australian dollars 69 pounds or 82 euros <laughs> so am I crazy? yes I ordered this box on the 16th of October and it came to me pretty quickly. I think after a month I have already received it and it spent with me a couple of weeks. And guess how surprised I was when today I saw that they still sell those mystery boxes and I wonder why because I remember times when Jeffree Star was on the top of its popularity and it was selling fast and people were really interested in his products and I'm not sure why um, it is not happening now, maybe people are less interested or maybe because Jeffree Star had at least three makeup releases this year and they came unannounced and it they came close one after the other and maybe just people spent their money on previous launches and I think it is not really fair the situation because I think that the company should um, announce its launches and make people choose which products to buy because at the end of the day Jeffree Star is not a um, affordable brand. What do I think about Jeffree Star brand in general? Um, I'm not sure if I'm very much interested in his makeup because the hype has gone <laughs> and uh, from what I see in his newest releases he just um, keeps uh, adding to eyeshadow palettes for example colors from previous palettes and just selling them as new releases and he actually confirmed this in his pink religion collection that he collected all shades of pink from his previous releases and just uh, added them to this eyeshadow palette and I'm not sure um, if I'm interested and I think this is not a bad thing this is very natural because 
your popularity is growing, reaches its top, and then it's very hard to be on the top. And of course, with the time, people switch their attention to some other brands, which is fine. But today we will be um, unboxing this beauty. I'm very excited. I haven't seen what is inside, so we will do this together. By the way, I forgot to tell you that deluxe size box or medium size box costed 100 40 American dollars or 203 New Zealand dollars, 195 Australian dollars, 105 pounds or 125 euros. And the largest Supreme box costed 200 American dollars or 291 New Zealand dollars or 278 Australian dollars. 150 pounds or 178 euros without delivery. <laughs> so this seems a lot. Let's dive into unboxing. You will be the first people to see what is inside. I haven't seen it, so let's open it. I'm not sure if you see anything, but... I hope you see what is inside. I don't, so let's close it and start our unboxing. Hmm. So this is the first item. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing. I would say a highlighter. Yeah, I was right. This is Supreme Frost Highlighting Powder. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this one. <laughs> the box is beautiful. Let's uncover it and see how it swatches I think this is so beautiful the packaging is beautiful the shade is frozen peach which is not bad because we know quite often in mystery boxes we receive products which are not selling good and they just try to get rid of them from their our house so, but this seems beautiful and and i'm very happy that it is not broken because quite often with the highlighters it, at least me i don't have amazing experience i like the beating on the highlighter i think this is very beautiful i think this is such a pretty shade it is peach and the glow is just gorgeous the next product the next product will be this one let me guess, let me guess, I would say a uh, lipstick. Trap. Yeah, I was right, this is well a trap lipstick in a shade... In a shade... Grave Digger. Sounds dangerous. And again, guys, the packaging is sickening. This is his famous bullet shade. It calls Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is matte and this is pretty. I do. Oh my god. <laughs> I've just seen the shade. And you guys, the shade is interesting. But again, let me tell you how beautiful is this is. The beating on the lipstick is absolutely gorgeous. Let's watch the shade. What will we think? The lipstick is very creamy and beautiful, it's very spreadable. I'm not sure about the shade, but maybe for Halloween it would be cool. And again, this mystery box is called Halloween mystery box, so for Halloween this would work perfectly fine. The lipstick smells like candies, which is cool. Oh, and it has magnet in it, see? This is cool. I like when we have amazing packaging. I think that at least a little bit it justifies its price. <laughs> the third product, the third product. Hmm, let it be this one. This is lightweight, I would say a brush. I'm not even sure if he has brushes, maybe a lip pencil. Yeah, this is velour lip liner in a shade deceased. <laughs> I like how he calls his products and his shades. It's very funny. <laughs> and again, the packaging is amazing. This doesn't look bad. This is like coffee, 
like cappuccino shade i think this would definitely work for me very cool very nice oh oh no oh no i saw what is inside <laughs> so far so good but i don't think that they put a lot of thought into products because from now what i see shades they don't really work together <laughs> and the purpose of this mystery box was just to get rid of products which is not bad we are happy we are crazy and happy okay all right the next product will be this one this is heavy and i would say a lip scrub mm, yeah this is velour lip scrub in a shade which is prue oh that's interesting this is black with red stars oh it is green inside and it smells like a medicine yep just a sugar lip scrub i think that this is hydrating and actually we have a lot of inside it has 30 grams or one ounce which is not bad for the lip scrub and now i have sugar everywhere <laughs> We have opened four products. Hmm, they were very interested. We have two more. Two, two more to go. I have a piece of paper here. Jeffree Star Skin. After years of formulation and tasting the skincare line you always dreamed of is almost here. So we have a card. Thank you, Jeffrey. I actually would be curious to see and try his skincare collection. So, the next product is heavy. Let it be a liquid lipstick or a lip uh, gloss. Please, please, please. Yeah, this is Supreme Gloss, Jeffrey Star Cosmetics. Full pigment lip gloss in a shade. Brilliant. I don't know the shade. Oh, <laughs> this is the shade. This is the gloss. The applicator is really cool. It's like doy foot applicator, but it more resembles a flower. This is red with a clear blue undertone, and it's not like Russian red, it's more on the pink side, so I'm happy with this, I think that it will definitely work for me, and thanks God, <laughs> it looks differently on my swatches than uh, in the packaging, because if it was like something like in the packaging, I wouldn't wear it, because colors on more orange side don't really work for me, and we have one more product to have a look at this one i think i know what it is because jeffree star told us in his video this is weirdo artistry eyeshadow palette i have never had any eyeshadow palettes from jeffree star that's why i'm very curious to see i have already seen this product on his side and i'm not really sure what i feel about this because this eyeshadow palette it uh, has uh, those colors which Jeffree Star used to wear when he was in school, I guess. And from what I saw on the side, uh, I can't say that colors inspired me and they seem to be just more random colors than a full eyeshadow palette, if you know what I mean, if it makes sense. But let's have a look and swatch and see how it works. This is... The packaging, the packaging is sickening again. Jeffree Star does an amazing job creating his products. Let's unbox it and see how it goes. This is a little bit dirty. I hope that my eyeshadows didn't break. This is how the packaging looks. It has Jeffree Star in red color. Okay. Ooh. Actually, in person, this is has a mirror and a protective layer which fell down and the colors are I think they're pretty actually it has white and let me tell you I absolutely love white and craving for good white because good matte white works better for me than any highlighter or um, shimmer eyeshadow so it has white it has silver 
uh, metallic color, matte pink, matte gray, matte dark gray, matte mauve shade, matte light gray, matte brown, and this very bright pink or orange one. Let's watch them and see how they work. And the beating, oh my gosh, I do definitely love the beating and it's very sad to ruin it. When I ordered this box, I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to wear these colors in my real life, but when I have a look at them, I think that I would definitely be able to create some interesting makeup looks. I hope so. Now, <laughs> the lip scrub smells everywhere and I absolutely love the scent. <laughs> I'm sorry people who like this product, I just can't. So, these are swatches. What do I think about them? I think that we have a lot of very similar colors. I'm very interested in white color, silver color and this color and actually this one is very pretty too and maybe this one too. So I will be very curious to um, see how it performs on skin and let me tell you that the amount of eyeshadow here seems to be a lot. It has nine eyeshadows each weights 1.5 grams or 0.5 ounces which is a lot. I just forgot about... Sorry. I completely forgot about that. And now we have other sounds. So, no, this is impossible to film. I completely forgot about the part of calculating the total value. So, I have done my calculations and what did I find? Velvet Trap lipstick costs $10.80. Lip scrub costs $7.80. 20 cents. Lip liner costs $9.60. Gloss costs $12. Supreme Frost highlighter costs $19.20. And Weirdo Mini Eyeshadow Palettes costs $28 American dollars. And the total value is $86 dollars 80 cents and we do remember that we paid without shipping 65 dollars so we won 21 dollars 80 cents and uh, for us if we speak about my delivery so i received a little bit less than i paid including delivery and the total uh, value was 86 dollars 80 cents or 126 New Zealand dollars, 121 Australian dollars, 65 pounds or 77 euros and we won 21 dollars 80 cents or 32 New Zealand dollars, not bad, 30 Australian dollars, 16 pounds or 20 euros. I think this is good and um, let me share with you my uh, total feelings about the products. I am in love with the highlighter. I wanted to receive it so much. I've heard a lot of good feedbacks about it and I was craving to try this one. And I'm very happy with the shade. I like lip pencil to say the least. I think it would definitely complement my skin tone. Maybe it's my colors. I like such um, berry brown shades. I maybe i'm maybe I'm a little bit less excited about this lip gloss but the shade looks amazing it has blue undertones which i absolutely adore and i'm very curious to see how it performs on my lips i would think that this would work pretty good for me and the last product which i liked is an eyeshadow palette i think this is pretty and despite crazy <laughs> swatches. I think it will be um, interesting to try and wear it in my everyday life. What I don't really like, I hate this lip scrub because it smells just awful. It smells absolutely terrible. It has a strong scent of medicine and this is not good. I don't think that I will use it a lot and I am not very excited about this lipstick. 
I'm curious about the formula, but the shade is questionable for me. And in general, I would rate this um, mystery box 4 out of 5. We didn't receive any scrunchies, any, um, you know, cheap products, you know what I mean. In general, shades are good. Not all of them, but most of the shades were good. I don't think that a lot of thought was put into this box and I don't think that someone tried to match uh, shades in this box in order to make them work for the person. For example, when I did a Colourpop mystery box unboxing medium one, I felt that all the shades were collected in the way to complement the whole makeup. In general, I am very curious to try all of these products. I love the design of the products. I like the pink color of the boxes. Pink is my favorite color, so I'm sorry. Um, did I smell all of them? No. Am I crazy? Maybe. No, eyeshadow palette doesn't smell. Oh, and by the way, Jeffree Star is cruelty-free brand, which we like. Highlighter, I don't think, has a smell. Lipstick with smelt. Lip scrub, don't make me smell it again. A lip gloss. Oh, it has a very strong candy chocolate scent. I like when products have a pleasant scent because at this price point, I think they should have it. <laughs> and now I just like when products have a good scent. And a lip liner. No, it doesn't smell at all. Am I happy about this mystery box? Um, um, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I think I received more products which I like than products which I disliked. Of course, there is always risk to receive something you won't use or you don't like. Would I buy all of these products on my own? No. For sure but yeah it was a very fun experience i'm very happy about the box and about the final video i think it was not the worst one please let me know in the comments down below what do you think what do you think about the products what do you think about jeffree star brand in general please let me know if you like this video maybe you want me to unbox or try some more products and film a video for you i hope today you will have an outstanding day please be careful I care about you. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!